So the whole concept of us inducing this ravaging patients with high dose chemotherapy is so barbaric. One day we'll look back and say, wow, did we really do that to patients? Did we really deplete the entire immune system, wipe them out with chemo and try and give them back something? When in fact you have it, you are born innately with a cell that's protecting you and I right now from cancer. It makes complete nonsense to wipe out the immune system with high dose chemotherapy and then say, well, we have a checkpoint inhibitor to try and go after a cell we just happen to have wiped out. People don't realize if you give cisplatin with high dose, you wipe out the natural killer cell for three months. You give taxotere, taxol, you wipe out uh, your natural killer cells. You give radiation, you wipe out your natural killer cells. So with the Moonshot program is to say, let's rethink this. Let's do the GPS so we have what we call battlefield awareness. Let's actually identify what we call this new epitope, meaning the sequence that is completely unique to your cancer. Let's figure out a way to give a vaccine to activate the T cell and the dendritic cell with a subcutaneous injection. Let's give low dose chemotherapy where we're just stressing the cell, not killing it, so we can actually use the chemo as a smoke bomb as opposed to carpet bombing it, use it as a smoke bomb. Unearth these receptors and then you go after those receptors with your immune system. That's the uh, Moonshot program where the goal at the end of the day is to get what you call to the memory cell. If we get to the memory cell, you've induced a vaccine to prevent the recurrence of the cancer in that patient.